A new single by Electra Fiction, and I'm delighted to welcome Mia McCulloch and Will Sargent to the studio. Thanks very much for coming in, guys. You're welcome. Is this Son of Echo and the Bunnymen? Is this a pick up where you left off, or is this an, a really new band? It's more of a sister of um, the Crucial Three. Aha, uh -huh. going back in time now. Yeah, so it's not to do with the Bunnymen, just because we used to be in the Bunnymen doesn't really come into the equation, you know? Hmm. And when you got back together again, were you consciously trying not to simply be Echo and the Bunnymen again, or did you have a plan, or what? Uh, well, quite a long time had passed, you know, so we'd all took new influences and things, so it wasn't really, didn't have to be that conscious, it's just natural. I mean, it was something that we kind of mentioned, let's not mm. kind of harp on the past and stuff, and we do certain things in similar ways to the bunny man but it's a, a different kind of sound and i think the songs are about different things you know. ian you have a solo career still do have perhaps and which was pretty well received why did why did you want to get back with will i think he's the best guitarist you know since 1979 possibly and we write great together and there's an edge there that i didn't have solo and i can do that when i'm you know 45 or whatever in uh, 19 years so <laughs> was it difficult getting back on stage because there was a bit of a falling out wasn't there at the end of echo and the bunnyman there was a bit but it wasn't dead it wasn't that heavy really it wasn't like we just any... didn't speak for yeah, four you years, know. Years, you know. but you know i just speak heavy, to my sister know. for 12 years <laughs> <laughs> it's normal in our house yeah. she still doesn't speak to me yeah. yeah but it, was, it wasn't a falling out it was just a kind of bad vibe you know mm. but it's fine again do you regret the way that the Echo and the Bunnymen, as I said earlier, fell apart? Do you th would you do it differently if you had that time again? Yeah, I think I would, yeah. What happened? Uh, I'd fall apart slightly differently. You know? Yeah. Um, everybody was getting a bit just less, in, less and less interested in the whole thing, you know. It was becoming so easy to do it that nobody was really caring. And also, I think... Um, People around us in the early days, like Bill Drummond and Bill Burton and other people, they kind of drifted off. And we were left with all these kind of mustachioed kind of professionals, you know. Mm. And we were never that good at being professional. We always used to avoid all that side of things early on. And then after a while, it just get, gets chipped away and eventually you become like, you know, every other band. Like we always prided ourselves on being a bit weirder or a bit, you know, doing things that, we're against um, what you're really supposed to do in music business, you know. Are you still trying to do that now? Um, or has the business got its tender no, claws? No, well, it's less kind of... We don't even have to think about that, because I think what we didn't realise in them days was that we were always like that anyway. You know, we didn't have to consciously think, let's be weird, because we, that's how we write, you know. And now I think we've accepted that we write in a certain way. We don't have to kind of play... The Isle of Sky to prove it, you know, hmm. something like that. Are you looking forward to going on tour with this band? We've just come back. Come back from where? <laughs> You've been so. touring in Europe. No, um, well, Britain. Yeah. Is it going well? Yeah, oh, that's it's great. great. Mega. Are you still getting the uh, the Bunnymen fans, the guys with the long overcoats, turning up in force for you? Um, a few of them, yeah. Yeah, you know, we get the odd weirdo turning up, you know, from the old days, <laughs> like that we recognise. <laughs> Old psycho, but um, but it's it, a you mixture, know. you know. We get kind of some new young fans, you know, who've only heard Zephyr. So you'd have been there if you'd have heard it, yeah. You I were know, doing your job yeah. Right. appalling, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, and um, have you read uh, Julian Cope's book, Head yeah. On? You haven't, no, no, and he's shot back. Well, I just haven't read it. Yeah. <laughs> They're a good Christmas present for somebody, yeah. wouldn't they? Mm. No, because there's been quite a lot of... Well, you, you talked about the Crucial Three earlier. There seems to have been quite a lot of nostalgia recently for that, that period in Liverpool in the late 70s. Yeah. I think... Um, I don't know what's brought that on. Might be Courtney Love. Because mm. she was licking around there. <laughs> and you're still based in Liverpool now? Yeah. And is it, how, is the, how, is the, how is the scene there at the moment? It's good, it's actually. Bad, there's a new club called the Lomax, which it's kind of a small club, but every night there's generally something on. And loads of bands come in there. It's like a proper venue on, on a tour schedule. 
So that's kind of, it's changed Liverpool. It means people will actually come and play there, you know. Because for years we had nothing. Mm. Just the Royal Court, you know. Which is uh, a little bit weird. And it's a big place. The lower max is kind of intimate and small. Mm. So that's kind of changed everything, really. And... You know, and I think bands now are kind of realising that there's a venue there that you play and that people are interested again in Liverpool. Mm. So. And the album, presumably there's an album on the way. Yeah. And when, when are we going to hear that? Let's see End that. of May. Great. We haven't done it yet. Aha. Uh-huh. We're doing going? it in January. Oh. And it's, it's going to be May. In that Liverpool. Great. Okay, thanks very much for coming in, guys. Best of luck with the album. I look oh. forward to hearing it. Much sooner than I heard this. Thanks very much. Yeah, you'll get a free release one. Anyway, now Kristen Hirsch and your ghost.